Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial on level 2. This is going to be problem number 4 and the problem goes like this. A line CD 90mm long measures 72mm in front view and 65mm in top view. It has been kept in such a manner that it appears as a 72mm long line when you look at it exactly from the front and when you look at this line exactly from the top it appears as a line of 65 millimeters so one thing is for sure that this line is inclined to both the planes that is HP as well as VP so let's uh, read ahead draw the two views of the line if it fully lies in the first quadrant find the inclination of the line assume point C 25 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP so this over here represents the true length of the line and it appears as a line of 72 mm in front view so this is front view length that is 72 and this over here 65 is the top view length so i've written them down okay true length 90 front view length 72 and top view length as 65 now assume point c 25 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp 25 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp so this is what you call um h c and this is going to be d c all right small this is also going to be small fine now let's draw and 25 above and 20 below h above and d below since it fully lies in the first quadrant and for first quadrant we have this uh, protocol of h above xy d below xy and if you don't know this then you can go back and visit my lecture on projection of points you'll have a clearer idea as to when h is above xy and below all right so let's begin with this problem so we're gonna initially start off by going 25 above and 20 below so 25 above we have this and 20 below all right so this over here corresponds to point a dash and this is what you call point a simply point a i'm going to draw the these uh, um uh, let, let us give us give it some dimension this is 25 and this over here is this over here is working out as 20 millimeters already all right so these are the data which were provided to us and let's now use this data front view length and top view length all right now guys we don't have any angle we don't have theta we don't have phi neither alpha nor beta what to do when you don't have anything you need to go parallel all right so you have this front view length as 72 and top view length as 65 so i'm going to be drawing a line front view we don't have any angle okay draw a horizontal line as 72 millimeters that's it right here 72 all right and let's see that this point is b2 dash all right and uh, we have this top view but we don't know any angle all right so we're gonna draw a horizontal line 65 mm long that's it and in between exactly in between i'm gonna write here 65 and this is what you call point b1 simply b1 okay now in order to use this true length okay so this is the only data which is remaining which we have not used till now okay and we're going to use this uh please follow the steps go upstairs from b1 of at an, of any suitable length i don't know how much okay and from b to dash go down below straight vertically downwards and then if you want to have true length with theta over here you have to take a dash as center and with 90 mm that is true length as radius you need to put an arc over here okay so this is going to be 90 that should correspond some cut this vertical line somewhere here so this is what you call this is b1 this has got to be b1 dash S similarly um we have this uh this vertical line okay so with a as center and with 90 millimeter that is true length as radius i'm going to again put an arc over here and this is going to be my point b2 that is the true length making an angle phi with the vertical plane it should appear something like this please watch this carefully that's it guys and this with this all right and this over here is what you call point um, b2 
simply b2 okay this over here is point uh, this this is what you call the true length okay true length with theta and this is true length with phi let me write over here this is 90 millimeters and this is also 90 millimeters oh, fine now the next thing to do is to have this locus of point b in the top view and we're gonna now do with the final top view and final front view we know very well that final front view is going to lie somewhere here if this is a dash then b dash has got to be here and if this is a then b has to be somewhere here so in order to find the exact location what i'm going to do is i'm going to take an arc and with a dash as center and with a b2 dash as the radius okay i'm going to turn this arc in the anti-clockwise sense please watch this carefully until it intersects this horizontal line somewhere here okay so this is what you call uh, the final front view right so this has to be darkened since it's the final front view and this over here is point b dash fine okay you can also do this uh, uh, rotation of a b1 with a as center and with a b1 as radius you can do this rotation and should should end up by intersecting this horizontal line somewhere here and this should be your final top view okay you can darken this with an edge pencil and if you want to if you want to have a check and then you can see whether this line and this point and this point are lying on the absolute vertical line or not now this is a dash this is a this is b dash and then this is got to be point b okay now as far as the angles are concerned i'm going to show you as to what angles uh, we've worked out and this is working out as this this is theta and theta is working out as 44 degrees all right this over here is alpha and alpha is working out as 60 degrees now let us switch to phi so phi over here is the angle that the true length of the line makes with the vertical plane so this is working out as 37 degrees and finally we have beta and beta is working out as 56 degrees all right so these are all the inclinations and this is the projection a dash b dash and a b that's it guys that was all from my side and if you have any doubts or queries write them down in the comment section below and let me know and i'll try to answer in the best possible way thank you for watching this is manas patnak signing off see you again